we found out we were the seven millionth acre and Shane gave me a call from the office and he said congratulations basically you got into the program you're the seven millionth acre and you know I I honestly didn't have any idea how many acres were invested in the South Dakota CSP so it was sounded like a milestone and, and it is a milestone so I guess we were fortunate enough to be part of this. This place came up and we we really didn't think we were going to be lucky enough to be able to make make it work, but we did. And I stepped away. Well, I went to college. Yeah, I was in the National Guard, South Dakota National Guard, and it was a good experience. You know, as all together was eight years, then there just came a point in time where, you know, we were, we had room for expansion, and, and I wanted to come back and be part of it. We bought this place three years ago, and. And we kind of, it's been a learning experience, you know, definitely coming out here by ourselves. We've got a lot of family help at times when we need it. The top three things that we're doing in order to help with the conservation around our place is rotate, rotating cattle and, and spraying and... Taking care of noxious weed. We put in water line systems yep. to keep, you know, keep the cattle moving uh, and, and giving them a water source so they're not concentrating in one certain area. Our cross fences are also something that we're utilizing and rotating them. I can watch them cattle out there, and when you go onto a new pasture, this has so much more punch to it than something that's been collecting sunlight and getting tall and, and kind of rank. And I got to visiting with Shane in the office in Kennebec, and just the more he talked about it, the more it seemed like it fit our fit what we were consistently doing, plus adding more on to make things just that much better. I uh, haven't had too many producers say they don't like CSP. It, uh, it provides them that, uh, that little bump, you know, uh, financially or even through the technical guidance that uh, my staff and I can provide through our office or on their operations and, and bump them to that next level. We take people in CSP from, uh, from a high level of conservation to a higher level of conservation. We like the fact that the, the CSP program is set up to kind of help help us as farmer and rancher and help us better utilize what we have. And I mean, it's basically to assist us, you know, and make us, you know, better at what we do. When I first heard about CSP, I was kind of surprised that we weren't already in the program because we do a lot of the, the stuff they require. You know, if, if we can get some assistance to for doing things right, well that's great. You know, stepping in that office up in Kennebec, there's a lot of people in there that are willing to help us out and sign us up for these programs and let you know what you need to do, when you need to do it, and, and that's helpful. You know, I didn't want to have a job in town and then, and then run a few cows. I wanted to try to make a living out of this. We're both doing it together, so there's, it's not like everything's on me, because between the outside stuff and the inside book she has to keep, she's probably busier than I am, really. It's a team effort and uh, it takes a good team to do this deal out here because there's some trying times, that's for sure. The Conservation Stewardship Program encourages and includes the whole operation. And so this program isn't for everyone. It's for producers that have maybe already worked with their local uh, Natural Resources Conservation Service to put conservation practices on their land, and it's to take that a step further. It was really a program that producers were waiting to see. South Dakota ranks number one uh, as far as the number of acres enrolled in the conservation stewardship program in the nation. Being able to work with Aaron and work with our boys and work with my dad and brother, you know, it, it's rewarding in itself, and I don't know if you could put a price on that. You want, I think once your heart's in it, your heart's in it. That's the whole reason we are doing what we're doing, is so that in the end, hopefully we have something for them. Yeah, probably so. didn't know that when we started, but when you start having a family, you start thinking different. And yeah. that's kind of where we got to, is we hope one of them boys wants to do something and with this place, and, and that's what kind of gets a guy going every day. So. If we got a program that's gonna reward us for doing that good job, we're gonna be part of it. You get some assistance from people that are part of the program and say, hey, you could do this. I mean, it just keeps you thinking about how to conserve. It's a relationship. We're gonna take care of the land. That's our number one priority out here.